Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how I carved into a piece that I found at a secondhand store. Uh, this is it. The carving is finished, but um, obviously I haven't put a finish yet. But there's that. that. So I kind of went with uh, like a Norse mythology motif on this one. Um, and I'll show you some pictures of the before. So, so uh, this is just a step-by-step -step of all the bits I used um, and the process I followed to carve this. And then in the next video, I will put a finish on this and also decide what I want to do with these Oh, things but anyway, anyway, stick around and watch the carving process. I took out these things, these pieces that went in here, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet. But I'm just going to go ahead and start with my carving. Some of it I'm going to do relief carving where the pattern is raised above, and some of it the pattern will be carved into it. So it'll be both. And what I'm starting with. It's just a small round carving bit. And I think I'm gonna start this piece right here. I'm starting out at high speed here, just clearing the wood away from the design. This bit works great uh, to get in really, really tight into those edges and corners and just get a really nice, clean edge.
This is a small round diamond point bit. It works great for smoothing and this I do on low speed. I started out on 10 and then I will turn the speed up if I'm not give, getting any divots in there. But the main thing with the smoothing um, is a fairly low speed but to keep it moving constantly uh, so you don't get a divot. As soon as you hold in one spot too soon or excuse me too long you'll get a divot there. So I just keep the Dremel moving with very light pressure the entire time. This bit also works really well for not just smoothing the carved bits, but kind of beveling the edges. Some of the edges I wanted to be uh, really clean lines, but some of them I like to be beveled. And I'm also using this bit to just take down the height of part of my design in general. This is also a diamond point bit that I used for smoothing. Um, I really like this shape, the cylinder shape, because it has the grit on that flat bottom portion, and so it can smooth the, the bottom of the carving and also the side walls at the same time. And I also do this on low speed, and I rock it back and forth just really slightly. Uh, so I can get into those edges and make sure those are nice and smooth. Now this is a medium grit sandpaper and I just fold it up to the smallest size that I need it. Uh, sometimes I can get by with larger pieces and sometimes I've got to fold them up into little tiny things to sand those uh, detail areas with. For my final step in this carving, I'm using the smallest diamond point bit. So that's the carving process and don't forget to check out the next video that comes out watch for that um, and then you'll be able to see what it looks like completely finished and thanks for watching i'll see you next time